Uh, we just failed one quarter. I mean, we, we started that third quarter, and it, it wasn't good. It wasn't us. For whatever reason, we came out slow, and that third quarter really killed us offensively. Uh, sorry, what do you... What do you Just keep going. I mean, that that's all it comes down to. Uh, for whatever reason, we throttled down, and that's what happens when you throttle down. I mean, it's been preached to us time and time again that it's always you, you've always got to go, but we failed to do that. Third, in the third quarter, we failed that, and that's on us. And uh, we've we've learned our lesson. I mean, there there can't be a let up for any reason, no matter how you feel, whatever's going on, whatever the scoreboard says. There's there's no such thing as a throttle down, and that's what we failed. And that uh, Adrian was obviously you know, the center of everything last year as a freshman, but you know, this year um, with this experience and being a captain. Now, what, what have you seen from him? Um, I know I know it's addressed the team after the game, but on the sideline, within the offense, what kind of leadership traits have you seen from him in all the days through this? Uh, he's just a fighter. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, it is what it is, but he's he's never one to get down. He's he's always going to keep going. He always wants to keep improving himself and the others around him. I mean, for a young guy to have that trait already, it's it's pretty rare and pretty special. I mean, he's he's a fan, fantastic football player, but he's also a fantastic person. He's not one to blame. He's going to put it on himself before he ever points a finger. I mean, he's he's the real deal when it comes to uh, a man, and I mean. It's nothing but respect, especially from, for such a young guy to understand that. He, he doesn't point fingers. He'll put it on himself before anyone else. Um, uh, we lost. We didn't play that well. And for whatever reason, uh, we, we, I, we, just, we weren't really who we were supposed to be, and we lost. That's really all I remember. Well, what's maybe the difference between the 2017 team and the Austin team in this one? Um, a better understanding of the offense. Uh, I'd say we're a little more physical. Uh, we play a lot faster. I mean, it's just as it's gone on, we've just as time's gone on, we've gotten better. I mean, we're just a we're a better team than what we were two years ago, or yeah, two years ago. How much do they have your attention? Um, honestly, that's that's not ever really what we do. The past is the past. Whatever happens, it's written in stone. You can't change it. But what we can change is today and tomorrow. How are you going to be today? How are you going to practice today? How are you going to uh, how are you going to attack practice tomorrow? Whatever happens in the past is the past. It is what it is. But what are we going to do to change tomorrow? Has really been the emphasis. Is is we're attacking today. Whatever whatever happened in the past, it's over. It doesn't matter how you feel, how you think. Attack right now and let's go. Oh yeah, there, there we had a, we had a ton of those. It was again, it was just it was like it was one guy was off. I mean, for whatever reason, just one guy wasn't quite as uh, didn't quite get their job done. Didn't quite get to the standard that we've preached and that's what happens when one guy fails we all fail and I mean that's that's just kind of been an emphasis an emphasis especially for this week is I mean we're in this together so everyone needs to execute their job to the best of their ability I mean we we have the 24-hour rule it hurts for 24 hours. I mean, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You can be, you can be mad. You can be angry about it. But that 24 hours is up. Now it's time to get to work. You got to throw away your feelings, and you just got to keep attacking. For you got to attack today. You got to attack tomorrow. And that's really all that matters. You can't brood over the past. The past is, like I said, the past is the past. You can't change it. Change today. 
really good. Our tempo was really upbeat. I mean, I, I'd say it was one of our best Mondays that we've had. And honestly, maybe that gut punch is what we needed to understand what it takes to dig a little deeper and find more of ourselves. You think guys did get comfortable Saturday though, up 17 in the third quarter, maybe expecting Colorado to quit and kind of let you guys pull away there? I, I think so. I think we gave we gave them a chance to get back in it, and that's exactly what they did. Uh, we we like I was saying, we failed we failed to come out with the same intensity and same uh, focus as we did when we started the game. So we let them back into it, and the results are because of that. And that's on all of us, regardless. We gotta we gotta keep like I was saying earlier. We can't throttle down. It's got to be an attack mentality for four quarters, regardless of the situation. Uh, I, th- I think he did a great job. I mean, he he understood that we were all upset and angry about what happened because, I mean, we lost that game. I mean, we, we gave it away. And so he, I mean, he understood it, but he also knew that we got to attack now. I mean, we understood that uh, we got we to gotta just be a lot more defined and a lot more focused in everything that we do uh, in practice and film and everything. And I mean, now it's just been an even more of an attack mentality. Yeah, I mean, it's it, again, it's just that it's that one step. I mean, we're we're so close to breaking them away because we get we see those breakaway runs, we see them getting through the gaps. For whatever reason, we're just we're one step short, and honestly, it's put it on the old line. We're the ones to blame. When a run fails, just put it on the old line. That's on us. Regardless of however it is, whatever happens, we got to do we as an old line. We just got to find a way to make it work. Regardless if the play is a horrible play or not, we got to find a way to make it work. Um, I'd say they're a little bit of technique and a little bit of communication. Um, we got a lot of young guys, a lot of guys that are uh, first year guys, and I mean they're learning, and um, they've been doing a great job of learning and attacking. I mean they're going to make mistakes. It's their first time ever really playing. For some of them, it's their first year uh, starting, and uh, they just got They're just going. They're they're learning how to attack, and the communication. That's an, that's an easy fix. That's one that's really never going to be a, a real worry for us because uh, we communicate every day. And technique that comes with time as well, and so like there's no there's no issue of physicality because everyone's trying to hit. It's just we got to make sure we're hitting the right way.